Well, hey folks, how are you? Don Grant, CTC Cutting Tool Counselor, here with a new product release for Helical Solutions. This year, as every year comes around, Helical has a new catalog that comes out the end of January. We just released a new catalog and I thought it would be great if the Cutting Tool Counselor walked you through some of the new items in the catalog, explain a little bit about the PODs, points of difference, how to use these tools in your application, and how our engineered solutions are going to help you better at your spindle. So please, come along with me, let's talk about the new Helical 2024 product catalog. Well, hey folks, thanks for joining me on this catalog 2024 release for new Helical product. We do this once a year and this catalog has just been getting better and better and better. If you're not familiar with Helical or Helical products, one thing I will tell you before I start going through some of the new product in the catalog is that Helical is an engineered solutions provider for the cutting tool industry. Aerospace, automotive, medical, industrial, anything you, you want to solve problems at the spindle, we have the tools that we put our heart and soul into design to make sure they work at your spindle the right way when you need them. And I'm gonna explain some of the new products that we have in the 2024 catalog and some expansion products that we actually have in there too as well. First of all, let's just talk about the catalog in a whole. This year, this year, 2024, we have added over 1,200 new products. This means new lengths of cuts, new radiuses, new diameters, options with different coatings throughout that catalog. I'm gonna explain at the end of this of where you can find those expansion items in the catalog. But first, we gotta dive into the new product that we have released this year, Helical 2024. So let's talk about some of the new products in the 2024 catalog. And the first thing I wanna talk about is I've been on some of the development team and the new product development for actually launching these tools. Now, do we do an extensive amount of testing in-house and at the customer before we launch these tools. Now, the first thing we thought of this year was, hey, team, how do we sell more cutting tools at Helical this year in 2024? So what did we come up with? We thought we would make our aluminum tools last longer. That's kind of my little joke to get started. But this is it. We did a huge expansion on our aluminum offering. Helical is known for our aluminum, aluminum legacy tools. We get the highest MRR at the spindle with our three flutes, our five flutes, and we're gonna dive into some of the things that we did with the new aluminum offering non-ferrous in the Helical catalog. So first up, First up in the Helical catalog, we're gonna talk about a brand new coating for aluminum. In the Helical catalog, you're gonna notice a new coating, and we don't launch that many new coatings, and there's a reason we don't launch a lot of new coatings at Helical. I'll give you the quick overview of why you don't see an array of all different types of coatings. When we test tools in the industry, when we test them in r and lab, if we do not find a coating, that can outperform the coding that already exists in the catalog, we don't put it in there. We don't do that to confuse people. We do it, we want the best coding that's on our tools all the time. So, we launched a brand new coding this year for our non-ferrous called D+. Now, don't let the name fool you because it's an A++ in our book. The new coding is called D+. Okay, folks, let's talk about this new D-plus coating offered in non-ferrous materials that you're gonna find in two different series in our catalog. Our Legacy Tools H35ALV-C, that's a rougher, it's a really good rougher. We're putting this D-plus coating on there. We're also offering this coating on our H40ALV. That's really our Legacy Tool. That's the Mac Daddy aluminum tool that you can get. So we wanted to put D-plus coating on those two lines and what D-plus coating is, is TAC, T-A-C, tetrahedral amorphous carbon. Very hard, very slick, uh, diamond-like coating. So it's not diamond, but it's about as close as you can get. Now this is put on with a PVD process, not a CVD, so you maintain a sharp edge 
and you have a really hard surface that is very slick for aluminum. So you don't get built up edge and uh, it performs, outperforms the coating that we have in there in certain applications. So where do you wanna use this D plus coating? What types of materials do you wanna use this on? Well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you if you have anything that's high silicon aluminum, okay, and I'm talking eight, 10% or greater, this is your real abrasive aluminum, your cast kind of aluminum, you wanna look at this D plus coating. This D plus coating is gonna last 10 times longer than Z plus. It's gonna last longer than a bright tool and it's actually going to perform a lot better. So D plus is now used for more of your abrasive materials and to give you a better bang for your buck offered in those two lines, H40 and H35 ALVCs. Let's just dive into these two products that we actually put this D plus on. Like I said, the first one is H35 ALV-C. This is a 35 degree chip breaker, okay? This tool, in my opinion, in the catalog is our Mac Daddy of roughers. This is about the best rougher you can use and now we're gonna allow you to use that in higher silicone and get the benefit of using D plus coating on that one. Our H40 ALVs, which this is offered on to as well, is our legacy tool. Now understand, this tool is the only one that we have in aluminum in our catalog that has variable pitch, other than the rougher. So it has variable pitch, it has eccentric relief, has a stronger edge on it, has a cylindrical margin, has a wiper flat on the bottom of the tool, and three teeth to center. So one of our best tools, our H40 line, our H40 series that you're gonna find in here is now offered with D plus coating. Don't worry, both these lines are offered in Z plus, our standard Z plus, and they're also offered uncoated as well. And if you think about coating when you walk through this train with non-ferrous as you have bright or uncoated, then you step up to Z plus. Z plus is more of a zirconium nitride kind of coating slicker and gives it a harder surface. Then you can jump up, we have an N+, plus, which is kind of your step in between your Z+, plus, and then this new D+. Plus. And then we go from N+, plus to this D+, plus coating, which is gonna give you your hardest surface. It's gonna be for your high silicon aluminum. It's gonna be for your abrasive materials, your cast and stuff like that. Don't forget, it's a DLC, diamond-like carbon, and that's how D+, plus is gonna work in your application. So what else is new? What else is new in the Helical 2024 catalog? Well, we said it's kind of a theme. It's non-ferrous. It's mainly in the aluminum section. So what did we do? We wanted to, again, make our aluminum section, again, think about it. We want to have these tools last longer. So what we did is we added coolant through in two of our series, our H40 series, again, and our H35 series. We offered those two tools now with coolant through coming out the gash not cooling out the center. These tools are still center cutting. So we have coolant coming out the gash to blow the chips out of your, uh, uh, your pockets a lot better, to evacuate chips a lot better. I'd say to help the cooling effect, but as far as the cooling effect goes, you're cutting aluminum, folks. So you're in pretty good shape with a helical coating. But now we have coolant through in our aluminum series of end mills. So folks, in line with the aluminum theme that we started at the beginning of this, we've also added some miniature, miniature, I know, don't get confused with Harvey. Harvey has the greatest offering I've ever seen, Harvey tool of miniature end mills. But what we wanted to do is we brought miniature end mills to the ferrous side one catalog ago. Now we've brought engineered miniature end mills to the helical side on the aluminum side as well. So now you can go down to 031 with a miniature end mill in helical on oversized shanks. Oversized shanks, let me tell you something about miniature tooling on oversized shank. Uh, I'm an application engineer, I've been doing applications for over 30 years now. When you're struggling and having issues with deflection, with tools breaking on miniature tools, um, with uh, bad finishes and chatter and things like that, if you go with an oversized shank, on your smaller diameter tools, you get the rigidity, you get the tool lock, you get less chatter, and you get a straighter wall every time. This series starting at 031 on the, uh, the uh, miniature side on the non-ferrous 
our uh, offered on quarter inch shanks. So please check that out. We have oversized shank in our non ferrous miniatures down to 031 in diameter. A great arsenal to add to your miniature toolings, engineered, variable pitch, and they work excellent at your spindle. So now let's talk about something that's a little bit near and dear to my heart. I like five axis. I've been getting into more and more five axis. When you get into aerospace, aerospace materials, you see a lot of five axis. Well, there's a new tool. I don't want to say it's new, but it's new to us last year in the catalog called HMATH, which is helical multi-axis finishers. These tools are more like your circle segment cutters, your barrel cutters, your taper forms, um, your, your oval form, and your tool that really does some really cool five axis stuff. Well, we noticed a gap in our line from last year, so we added a couple different angles in our taper form. Right now, we offer these in 15, 30, and 45 degrees on a taper form, and there's a gap there. So we added 60 degrees and 75 degrees. So not only can you get 15, 30, 45, now you can get 60 and 75 degrees in a taper form. Now if you're not sure how a taper form multi-axis tool works, it's a big radius on the end of the tool, more like a ball nose, but you're spreading that segment of a circle out. And what you want to do is when you're using a taper form is that's the angle that is to the face of your material. I'll just give you an example really quick. If you use a 45 degree taper form, you want that head tilted at 45 degrees to face your material all the time. And that's gonna give you your best radius and that's gonna give you your biggest finish. We're gonna dive into how to use these tools a little bit later, but we found a need and so we added two different taper angles in our catalog just to be even more versatile when you get into your five axis machining. Now another thing we did with one of these HMAP cutters is we extended the length. Now you can get these in longer lengths if you're looking at five axis machining with these tools and you want to use them very efficiently. You have to reach down in some deep pockets. We wanted to have some standard tools so we offer those in extended lengths where you can get now these taper forms, these oval forms that'll give you that reach to get down into pockets so you don't have to switch with a ball nose. Those are HMAP cutters and we expanded that series very well for this year in 2024 in the helical catalog. Finally in this catalog in the non-ferrous section, again it seems like a theme that we went with non-ferrous and tried to uh, bump up our performance on these tools, we upgraded our HPCMs and our HPCRs. And you're probably asking what's an HPCM and what's an HPCR? Well HP is a high performance uh, chamfer mill. Uh, and at HPCR is a high performance corner rounding tool. So in this section, what we did in this catalog is we now offer these in Z plus for your non-ferrous in three and five flutes. So we added five flutes to these. Get a better finish. These are engineered, variable pitch, designed to give you the best chamfer. If you haven't tried one of our chamfer mills out yet, you just gotta try one. Call one of your local reps, Get one in on test, try one, put it in the spindle, and you'll, you'll probably change out every one of your chamfer mills. But our high performance chamfer mills and our high performance corner rounding tools are now offered in three and five flutes with a Z plus coating. Z plus, better than an uncoated, okay? So there's another option for you. That's pretty much all of the new products for non ferrous that are added in this new catalog. Please get a hold of somebody internally outside and check these out today. Try them in your spindle. Another thing I wanted to bring up was the expansion items. Along with coming out with new products every year, we always come out with expansion items, which means we find a gap. We find a gap in a diameter, we find a gap in a length of cut, we find a gap in a radius, and we have a lot of lines. So what we do is we expand on the tools we have in the catalog to grow that catalog to make sure that these tools aren't specials for you and you can get these as standard engineered standards. So I'm not going to go through what all the expansion items are, but I am going to tell you a little tip on how to figure this out. One thing that we do in all of our catalogs along all the brands is when we add something that is new from the catalog prior, we put that EDP number in red. Now one thing I noticed myself this year with this catalog, we also put a new 
little flag on the left hand side. So if you go through the catalog, you see anything in there that's red in any one of the series that you use on a regular basis, that's an expansion item. That means it wasn't in the catalog prior to 2024. Now, next year when 2025 comes out, guess what? Those will turn into black colored EDPs and then the new ones will turn into red EDPs. That's how you can signify what was new and, was, and wasn't there. So if you have your favorite page that you got bookmarked right on your desk, grab the new page out of the new catalog and see if we added any items in there. It's a great way to check it out. Well, folks, thanks for joining me. I wanted to run through the 2024 new products in our helical catalog. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you understand a little bit more, but we understand you're not gonna get everything from a video like this. So please call your local rep. Uh, call national support or call the inside team. We have a great technical inside team that can help you understand these tools even better. But from there, thanks for joining me. 2024 is going to be a great year. I hope it's a great year for you. And if you're using our tools, we will support them just as much as you enjoy them. Thank you and have a great day.